for more than 35 years, I've brought you stories of children waiting to find their adoptive homes. I featured hundreds of children on my Wednesday's Child Series over the years. And during the pandemic, I really haven't been able to bring you their stories because of all the restrictions in place. But with Christmas just a few days away, I have a special Wednesday's Child story to share about the gift of finding a family. They get their baby's first Christmas <laughs> ornament as well. Okay. That one on there too. And then my cow. This is just your forever family one. The Deppner family laughs and remembers as they decorate their tree this year. They have lots of old and new memories, sharing new traditions with daughters Marissa and Bray Lynn. It's a big foot. <laughs> <laughs> this family Christmas story begins five years ago when I featured Marissa as one of my Wednesday's children. I just want a home so I can stay and not to worry about this stuff and just focus on school and my education. So finding an adoptive home would really mean something to you, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I actually don't have to worry about any hard stuff anymore. I am fine, I have a family, I'll be safe, I'll feel loved. Don and Mark Deppner watched my story that night. There was something about Marissa that touched their hearts. They adopted her as their own. In 2018, I met up with them to celebrate the adoption. Marissa shared her feelings about finally having a home and family. There's a lot of love and support, and you're in a home where you don't have to worry where you're going to go the next day. And I can just, like, live my life without worrying what's going to happen. Because when I didn't have a family, I just expected. I was excited to go to sleep. That's the only thing I was excited for every day. I didn't have hopes for anything else. It was a happy ending to a Wednesday's child story. But what no one knew then was that Marissa would soon reach out to another child who needed to find her forever home. In the fall of 2020, as the pandemic was taking hold, I featured a 10-year-old as my Wednesday's child. I brought along my dog, Lucy, to the park to meet a little girl named Bray Lynn. Roll over, Lucy. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> Bray Lynn was shy. She had faced a lot of disappointment in her life. She wanted desperately to find a family. She wanted to be loved, but things didn't seem to be working out until an angel stepped in. That angel was Marissa. It was just, there was something about her and her story, and, <laughs> and uh, there was just, I had this feeling in this poll, like I wasn't gonna let another little girl go through it. I went through with all these moving and these homes, and it just, it wasn't fair. And, Don and Mark had already adopted Marissa. What about another child? Marissa really, really was wanting us to adopt Braylon because she really wanted a little sister, but uh, I was really scared because um, she was 10 and I'm 50. <laughs> so I was like, wow, this is gonna be hard. Um, I just agreed to keep praying about it. And if it was meant to be that God would open the doors and every door was open for Braylon to come into our house and our home and our hearts. Mark says he instantly knew Braylon would be part of their family. I just, I saw, I looked at it and went, okay, this is what we're, this is what we're doing. And, and we, we uh, got our stuff done and boom, there she was. The Deppner's older children, Nick, Janelle, Joe, and Mary were thrilled to have another sister join the family, but perhaps no one was happier than Tater Tot, the family dog who has adopted the girls as his own, joining the family as a little puppy. And you've probably noticed, Bray Lynn is still shy when the camera is on, but watch her eyes, her smile, sitting there with her new family, looking up to her older sister, laughing at her stories and jokes. It was getting time to go, but the girls had a present for me and Kendra, who helps me with our Wednesday's child stories. Uh, it's a photo that we wanted to give you guys. Oh, oh look at that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. It is one of the most treasured gifts I have ever received. So that's the Christmas story of a Wednesday's child who reached out with love to adopt another Wednesday's child and gave her the gift of a family. Isn't that a neat story? My eyes are all yeah. <laughs> yes. And I can't tell you how awesome that Deppner family is. And of course, Marissa, yeah. who's just so 
funny. She tells some funny stories, and yeah. she's a great older sister now to Bray Lynn, and of course, Tater Tot. Tater Tot. I love Tater Tot. You said Tater Tot didn't like our photographer, but Tater Tot didn't like our photographer, but he loved everybody else. That's he didn't good. like Matt, our photographer. But here's that picture, wow. Jenny. I think I'll show everyone this. Get up I'll close. Come home. I'll get a little yeah. closer there, but. That's the picture right there while well, it's kind of in the light. But is that the neat? We got Tater Tot, we got Marissa and Bray Lynn. I love so this it. is always going to stay on my desk now. Well, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great job there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And good they could find each other. And, and yeah. you made it happen. So. Yeah, well, you know, if you would yeah. like information on adoption, more than anything right now, they need foster families. There's the number to call. We post that at coin.com. You can always watch the story again and some of my past Wednesdays, child, at coin.com. And we're hoping after all this, COVID stuff dies down, we can start with the Wednesday's child stories again and uh, start finding kids the homes they need. But we really do need some foster families now, so there's a number to call.